As we've been working throughout the editing and arrangement topic, you've probably noticed that there is quite a lot of audio editing power directly within the project arrangement window. This design aspect of Nuendo really allows you to maintain focus on your project without getting lost in so many windows and sub-editors. However, there will often be situations for which you will need more in-depth editing capabilities for your audio material. This is where the sample editor plays a key role. The sample editor provides a non-destructive editing environment that allows you to perform all the classic sample editing tasks, as well as a few new ones that further enhance your editing abilities. Getting to the sample editor is very easy. Simply double-click on any audio event visible in the project, and it immediately opens up the editor. Within the sample editor, you have a similar design layout as you find in the other editors in Nuendo. First is the upper toolbar area that contains access to various important functions and tools. Next we have our familiar overview and timeline bars. To the far left, we have a new display that gives you information on the dB levels of the actual waveform displayed in the editor. This is very useful to help keep things from clipping over 0 dB. Underneath that, you have basic file format information. And to the right, we have a new list editor that provides information about ranges you may have created within the audio sample. We'll talk about ranges shortly. But first, let's take a closer look at how the sample editor works and the various tools it offers. If you've ever used any two-track sample editing software, or any of the numerous hardware sampler instruments on the market, then you're probably already familiar with many of the tools available to you here. By using the range selection tool, you can highlight any specific area of the sample file, then right-click or control-click, and choose a process menu category. Here you have access to all the editing commands that can be applied to the range that you have currently selected. These are all the same functions you have access to when editing audio events. You also have access to plugin processing if you want to apply specific effects to the range. Other basic functions like setting the start point and adjusting the event start endpoints are provided by graphic handles that you can adjust as needed. Adjusting the events points is the same as adjusting them from the arrangement page. One of the features unique to the sample editors is the regions list. This allows you to create specific ranges that can be used to replace the content of an audio event. If you remember in the Cycle and Multilane Recording Movie tutorial, Nuendo creates regions for every cycle that it completes. Creating them manually achieves a similar goal in that you can create a list of different regions and choose them from the region list when you right-click on an audio event. To create regions, you simply highlight an area with the Range tool and click the Add Region button to the right. Now you have an entry for this region. If you create more, they will continue to show up on the list. Now if we jump back to the project editor, we now have the ability to choose from a list containing those regions and change the content of the audio event. This is very useful if, for example, you have a one minute long drum take and you only want to use a four bar segment of it. If you set four bar regions for various different parts of the drum take, then you can set up just one event in the song and quickly change the different regions and instantly be able to test and see what parts of that drum take work and which ones don't without the need to actually move or rearrange any audio event data within the arrangement. Several special tools are available to you within the sample editor. First is the play tool. This allows you to point in any certain area click and hold, and hear the audio playback. As it plays, you're provided with a visual cue as to where it's playing in the audio file. The advantage to this over using the normal play button is that it allows you to quickly scan a very long audio file looking for specific points or cues if needed. If you need to locate an even more detailed point in time, then the scrub tool is also provided for you, which works similar to the scrub tool in the project editor window. The Draw tool is a useful function that allows you to zoom into the audio at sample accurate levels and redraw the waveform. This is particularly useful if you have any clicks or pops in the middle of an audio file that the auto fades will not handle. Using the Draw tool, you can just simply draw the click or pop right out of the audio file. 
Since the sample editor offers many of the same processes and functions that you can perform at the upper level in the arrangement window using audio events, you may find yourself making very little use of the sample editor. Since personally, I feel it's easier to maintain focus and do all your editing at the top level in the arrangement layout. However, there is one unique tool that is only available within the sample editor. It is called hit points. Hit points are essentially markers that are inserted at the beginning of a strong attack transient in the audio sample. An example of a strong attack transient would be a percussive or drum sound. Nuendo will analyze the audio file and automatically insert hit points at every transient it finds. These markers can then be treated as if they were individual sounds that you can work with separately. They can also be converted into the audio event, so that you automatically slice an audio event based on the hit points created. If you haven't already guessed it, this is an immensely powerful tool for drum loop editing. It gives you the ability to regain individual control over each drum sound and element within the loop. It also provides you with very unique ways to experiment and change individual sounds within a drum loop. Here's a small example of how it works. First, you open the sample editor for a selected audio event. In this example, we'll use a 4-4 drum beat I have already loaded in my song. Once the sample editor is open, click on the Hit Point Edit button and a dialog window will appear. In this window, you have several options for fine-tuning the analyze process. The first option, Use Level Scan, forces Nuendo to first normalize the file and then perform the hit point detection. This can help give more accurate results, but does not affect the actual audio file. So don't worry about adding a normalize process to the actual audio sample. The Adjust Loop parameters allows Nuendo to try and calculate the tempo of the loop and adjust the cycle range markers accordingly. The general rule is to first set the number of bars you want, set the quantization ratio that you think the loop is using, and then set a general rough guess of the tempo range of the loop. Once the file is analyzed, you will see marker points entered into the audio file. Each of these now represents an individual slice or sample. If you switch to the play tool, you can easily audition each individual slice. If you don't like the way a particular slice sounds, then you can grab it and move it to a different location. You also have a sensitivity slider that allows you to adjust the number of slices that are detected and placed into the file. This is very useful if the audio file is very complex and too many hit points are inserted. To take this process one step further, you can now choose to splice your audio event based on the hit points. Once you choose this, you'll notice now that the audio event is split up based on the hit points. Now we can easily rearrange or replace any of the individual drum samples within the audio event. Since the drum sounds are now individual events, we can even go as far as to re-quantize or re-sequence the entire drum groove. As you can see, this is a cool, powerful feature, and its use is limited only by your imagination and creativity. So, in this tutorial, we've taken a close look at the sample editor and its abilities to process and edit audio at the sample level. Nuendo offers comprehensive sample editing tools and processes under a well-defined interface that's straightforward easy to use, and well integrated into the overall Nuendo environment. Now that we have a good idea how to edit samples, next we're going to take a close look at editors Nuendo provides for your MIDI sequences.